welcome to today's tutorial. I'm just gonna jump straight into it. We're going to be using three millimeter single strand macrame cord. If you wanna use the same cord I'm using, I will pop a link in the description below. Otherwise, choose any three millimeter cord that you like. Start by cutting 32 lengths at two and a half meters each. Set up a dowel so that you can remove your piece when it's done. Place four cords onto the dowel at their midpoint. I like to tape them so they stay in place and then make one square knot. If you need a tutorial for the square knot, click the link popping up on the screen. Add four more cords and space them so they're two inches apart. Tape those ones down as well and make another square knot. Attach all of the cords like this and you'll have eight square knots when you're done. Now the next row we're gonna do alternating square knots. I'm cutting a one inch spacer. So take the right two cords of the first knot and the left two cords of the next one. I'm gonna place my spacer in behind the filler cords and then do my square knot. Now I'm gonna take the filler cords of the next two knots, and bring them in front of the spacer and make a square knot. And keep doing that all the way across. Now do alternating square knots all the way back. Notice how I'm leaving these cords. Notice how I've left the cords on this side as well. Now remove all the tape and move the upper row so it's resting on the top of the dowel. Now tape them down again. Turn your piece around. Now we're gonna do alternating square knots across the top here. Keep them in line with the square knot on the other side. I'm skipping the first two cords. I'm doing it all the way across. We want to join the side of the bag with the two cords on the end of each side. Join them with a square knot. Do the same thing on the other side. So take the two cords on the left side and these two cords and do a square knot. And then just continue across. Now I'm joining before I go around the back, the side with this side. I've turned the piece around and now we have to join the two sides on this side as well. Continue going in the round until you've done nine rows. It's time to make the handles. From your middle square knot, take two of the left, count three whole square knots, and then this one on the side, just take two from the right. Gather your cords together, and at the eight inch mark, tape your cords together. Do the same thing on the other side. Do the same thing on the reverse side. Lay your bag on a flat surface and then overlay the handles from one side of the bag. I'm gonna use this one millimeter cord that I have. If you don't have a thin cord, you could just take your three millimeter cord, take a few strands and pull them off. Using your thin cord, tie all of these ropes together. Pull really tight and do a double knot. Cut off the excess cord. Take another cord and make another double knot. About a centimeter, centimeter, half away from the first one. Do the same thing on this other side. Now take a few of your cords and cut them and take them away. 
Take another thin cord and tie it as close as you can to these cut ends. What we're going to do at the end here is hide all of this behind a gathering knot. Cut a few more of the cords. Try and use half of what's left. Now take a three meter length of five millimeter cord. If you don't have five millimeter cord, go ahead and use three millimeter cord, but I would use four meters. Now we're gonna hide all of this with a gathering knot. See the link popping on the screen if you don't know how to do the gathering knot. So I have this end just a little bit longer and the tail just a little bit longer than the area we wanna cover. I'm gonna pinch it at the top and start doing my wrapping. And you wanna make sure you're beyond these ends here. Do your gathering knot nice and tight. Just have to do two more wraps to cover those ends. And then finish off your gathering knot. You have to pull pretty hard for this length of a gathering knot. I'm making a few adjustments to my handle before I cut the ends of the gathering knot. Using these scissors to tuck away the cut ends. Remove all your tape. Do the exact same thing on the other side. I hope you enjoy the project today. If you'd like to try one of my other projects, here are a couple of my favorites.